welcome back to my channel okay so today I'm doing a little vlog of just my daily quarantine life obviously I don't get this glam and like <laughs> look presentable every day but I wanted to today and then doing that made me feel like vlogging so you guys got lucky you guys really got lucky <laughs> Anyway, I have some fun activities that I've been planning on doing and filming with like my family, doing some fun like little activities. So I will bring you guys with me along the day. So this morning I actually went to, I fell asleep way too early last night. I fell asleep at like 9 p.m. or something really weird. And then I woke up in the middle of the night. I literally woke up at 4 a.m. and I was starving. So I like went downstairs, made pancakes. Like I did a full breakfast at four o'clock in the morning. I've made two cups of tea this morning. Right now I'm having some Earl Grey. Oh, it's so good. In high school, I used to hate Earl Grey. Like, well, not hate, I just never really drank it, but we have some Earl Grey in my house, and I'm like, wow, okay. I see why all you guys like Earl Grey. And I added some milk, so it's like a nice London fog. So nice, so nice. So guys, I've been trying this thing where I like plan out my videos more in depth. Like I don't just think of, oh, I'm gonna do this. Like I think of it more in a like shot by shot kind of way. So I'm gonna plan out like the specific things that I'm gonna film in this vlog because if not, I just find that I'll record literally everything and then editing is such a pain because I just have so much footage of just random shit. That's kind of like half of it just is unnecessary. So this really helps me. Well, I haven't really done it that much, but I've done it like once or twice and it's kind of helped me. So right now I'm just gonna write down the exact kind of things that I wanna do in this video. What shots I want, what B-roll I want, like what I want this to look like. And mapping it out helps so much. So if you have your own channel, try doing that. It's really helpful. And it'll save you. If you do this little bit of work now, it'll save you when you're editing later. I don't know why I prefer vlogging on my phone. Like I started with my camera, but now I just have fully switched to the phone. But anyway, I think I know what I'm gonna make for lunch. I'm gonna make spring rolls. Last night I was like dreaming of making spring rolls for lunch and today's the day and you guys are gonna come with me. So let's go make lunch. This is gonna be good. This is gonna be fun. This gremlin is in my bed right now. For all of you who don't know my little brother, this is Moses. He's nice and quiet and entertained right now so I'm not gonna bother him. <laughs> with this introduction, but you guys will see a lot of him running around. My crazy little brother that I love so much. Love you, Mo. Okay, so I'm making spring rolls today. I have the tofu, some ingredients to go inside. I'm actually working on making a sauce for this tofu now to season it well. So I've just added some brags and some maple syrup. I'm also gonna add some of this stir fry sauce and some sesame oil. So I'm just kind of like mixing random sauces to make a nice sauce. This looks so good. I'm gonna let this sit. I'm gonna keep it warm. So I just turn the stove to low and then we're gonna chop up our other ingredients.
cut this one up and guys look at that these look so amazing i'm gonna add some dipping sauce to this that i can dip these in and yum these look so good so the sauce i'm using is from trader joe's it's their sweet chili sauce and i really love this sauce it's one of my favorites so if you're ever at trader joe's definitely check it out and now I'm just gonna eat my spring rolls, relax, maybe watch a movie, and then hang out with my little brother. And I will see you guys tomorrow for a very special day. Okay, so this morning we're going on a really fun road trip. I just realized that I didn't film an intro for this, so here we are. I'm just putting on some makeup in the car before we arrive at the poppies. Okay guys, I just got out of the shower and I thought that I would show you guys my updated skincare routine because it has changed since the last time I talked about like skincare on this channel. So, the first step is I use this toner, it's from the dermatologist, it's like an acne treating toner. Um, this is a super effective product, it really helps to, like if you have acne or if you have any bumps or anything this will really like prevent them from coming in the future but it smells so strong like alcohol like it kind of makes my eyes water it's that strong it can also be really drying so if you have super dry skin just be sure and follow up with a good moisturizer okay done my face was pretty clean. Okay, and next I go in with a serum. I use one every day and I either use, I use these two serums from The Ordinary. And guys, I love The Ordinary. Their skincare has definitely improved my skin super drastically and I would recommend it. If you're interested in trying it, definitely do because they have some amazing products. Mainly their serums are just great. So. The two that I have are the Niacinamide 10% and Zinc 1%. I use this one for when I have a pimple or I feel a pimple coming. This is really great at like fighting any spots or blemishes. And then this is the Buffet, which is a multi-peptide serum. So this is super good for deeply hydrating your skin. Um, some people use it for anti-aging and stuff like that. So yeah, I am going to use the niacinamide and zinc today because I just sweat a lot and I don't know I feel like I don't really have acne anymore but it's like I feel like it's a mindset almost like I can't believe that I don't have it and I just still do so much to prevent getting a blemish because I had them at one point like I'm scarred <laughs> 
But anyway, I did sweat today, so I want to just make sure and prevent anything that could be coming. The one thing I will say about this product though, is it doesn't mix well with some other products. Like I noticed with one of my like oil, oils, yeah, facial oils, like it'll start to like peel off or like create weird flakes. So just be careful layering this. But honestly, if you just pat it in, you won't really have a problem. Okay, and my third and final step is moisturizer. So the one that I wear every day, I swear by, is this CeraVe Facial Moisturizing Lotion with SPF 30. I use this because it has F SPF and I need to wear sunscreen because sunscreen is so important and it prevents any dark spots from getting darker or just if you have skin issues, the sun makes it worse every time, so make sure and wear sunscreen. So, yeah, I picked up this one. It's super inexpensive. It does leave a bit of a white cast, like, on your face, but it's doable. Like, it kind of sinks in after a while, so it's pretty good. I like it. It works. And at night, I use, I do this exact same routine, and I use the... Trader Joe's Nourish Oil-Free Antioxidant Facial Moisturizer. So it's suitable for all skin types, dermatologist formulated, fragrance-free, no parabens, all that good stuff. Um, this I just recently bought, as you can see, it's like fully new. I've probably used it like four or five times and so far so good, I like it so far. Um, it feels really nice on your skin. Like it really just glides on and like moisturizes really nicely. Like I wish I could use this right now because it would feel so good, but it's sunny out and I need to use a sunscreen. So I just get like two pumps of that, maybe like one and a half. And I kind of <laughs> do that and then just rub it in. Okay, so I don't know if you can see, it looks pretty cast free right now, like it looks pretty good. I don't see too much of a white cast. So yeah, that's my updated skincare routine. I've really simplified my regimen. I just use my toner, serum, moisturizer, and this has improved my skin so much. I think before using my like 10 step skincare system like it was nice but some of the products were irritating my skin and I realized that now after switching to these like simplified versions but I think I have the ordinary to thank for that. Implementing this in my skincare has definitely 100% improved my skin. I get less breakouts like my skin is much better with these products. So that's my updated skincare routine. My tips for you would just be to simplify your routine. It will improve your skincare. Just keep it simple. Yeah, that's what worked for me. So try it out. See what products you don't need. Kind of target different products to pinpoint what works for you and what doesn't. You really have to know so that you can make a skincare like routine that works and is perfectly tailored to your skin. Last but definitely not least, I have a huge tub of Vaseline that I always keep on my desk near my bed and I just put some on right after I'm done with my skin and yeah, you know, your lips always get dry after your shower so Vaseline, chapstick, anything for your lips, it's an important step, don't forget it. And yeah, now we're done with our skincare routine.